In this video, 4 channels 16 bit analog to digital converter ADS1115 is programmed in assembly. The device is interfaced with ATmega328 microcontroller using I2C connection. The analog to digital converter module has the IC ADS1115, which is a 4 channel 16 bit analog to digital converter. It has a programmable data rate from 8 to 860 samples per second. It has a built-in programmable gain amplifier and a programmable comparator. It is I2C interface with a microcontroller with four pin selectable addresses. It supports three different clock speeds, 100 kilohertz, 400 kilohertz, and 3.4 megahertz. A block diagram of the ADS1115 is shown here. It has a programmable multiplexer, which can either multiplex up to four single-ended analog inputs or two differential inputs. The output of the multiplexer is fed into this programmable gain amplifier, which will provide eight levels of full-scale range, from plus and minus 6.144 volts all the way down to plus or minus 0.256 volts. The analog signal is then fed into this analog to digital converter that will give us a 16-bit result. And this I2C interface will convert the result into serial data that is transmitted over the I2C bus to the requesting uh, microcontroller. The ADC also has a programmable digital comparator that will issue an alert signal via the alert pin whenever the 16-bit result exceeds some pre-assigned threshold values. The programmable registers of the ADS1115 are address pointer register, conversion, config, low threshold and high threshold registers. The address pointer register is an 8-bit register and the two least significant bits here are used to determine which of the four registers will be accessed. So this register is acting as a pointer to these four registers. The conversion register is a 16-bit register which will contain the 16-bit conversion result which is split into a low byte result and a high byte result. Inside the configsys register, when we program these bits here, then we determine the data rate of the analog to digital converter from 8 samples per second all the way to 860 samples per second. And this bit here will determine the mode of conversion, whether it's continuous or single shot. These bits here program the gain amplifier to give us full scale range from plus or minus 6.144 volts all the way down to plus or minus 0.256 volts. And these bits here are used to program the multiplexer circuit to give us either differential input or single ended inputs. For the remaining bits of the config register, default values are used. Their full meaning and their definition can be found in the data sheet of the analog to digital converter. In this video, the config register will be programmed to give 128 samples per second, continuous conversion mode, full scale range of plus or minus 6.144 volts, and the analog input will be single ended analog input zero. So the config register word is given by this uh, word value here. To program ADS1115, the microcontrol will first use the I2C bus to write into the config register of the ADS1115. This will initialize the ADC. Then the microcontroller using the I2C bus will read the 16-bit result from the conversion register and then display the result and this process is repeated continuously. This is the I2C timing diagram for writing to ADS1115 
in order to initialize the ADC. The microcontroller begins with the start pulse. Then it will send the write address. After acknowledgement from the device, the microcontroller will then send the address pointer register byte in order to access the configuration register. Then the microcontroller will send the configuration word, first the high byte, and then the low byte, and then the microcontroller will end the communication with the stop pulse. After we initialize the ADC, the next step is to read the 16-bit conversion result. But first, we need to do a write operation in order to select the conversion register. So the microcontroller sends the start pulse and then the write address after acknowledgement from the device. Then the microcontroller will send the address pointer register in order to access the conversion register. And then the microcontroller will terminate the communication with a stop pulse. Once the conversion register has been selected, the next operation is the read operation. Microcontroller begins with the start pulse. Then it will send the read address. After acknowledgement from the device, the ADS1115 will send the high byte of the result. And then the microcontroller will send the acknowledgement of reception. And then the ADS1115 will send the low byte result. And the microcontroller will acknowledge the reception and then the microcontroller will terminate the read operation by a stop pulse. This is a circuit diagram of the implemented system. We have the ADS1115 module is interfaced with the Arduino via port C and via the I squared C lines. And we have a 10K pot which provides the analog input is fed into analog input zero of the module. And the address pin is connected to ground. We also have 16 LEDs which display the 16-bit result. The low byte is connected to port D and the high byte, six of which are connected to port B and the most significant two bits are connected to pins of port C. And now for a quick demonstration. We increase the analog voltage from 0 to 5 volts and then decrease back to 0 volts. A quick look at the assembly code. First we need to initialize the ADS1115. We begin by sending the start condition and then we send the uh, write address and then we send the address pointer register byte uh, in order to select the configuration uh, register and then we send the high byte of the config register word and then we send the low byte and then we end the transmission with the stop condition. Next we do another write operation in order to select the conversion register so we initiate the start condition and then we send the write address of the device and then we send the address register pointer byte in order to select the conversion register and then we terminate the transmission with the stop pulse. After we have selected the conversion register the next step is to read from the ADS1115 the 16-bit result. So we begin with the start condition and then we send the read address for the device and then we read the uh, high byte 16-bit result sent by the device and then we read the low byte result and then we end the transmission with the stop condition. Now register R28 has the high byte result and R27 has the low byte result. So we display on port B the first six bits of the high byte result and then display the uh, most significant two bits on uh, PC0 and PC1 pins and then we display the low byte result on port D apply some delay and then go back and get the next conversion. In future videos more I2C devices will be programmed in assembly 
such as BME 280 sensor. Thank you for watching.